the thing is that that my plans for this weekend are ruined absolutely sadly ruined because see the thing is on the weekend i thought okay on saturday i'll be editing the league of legends video because we need to post a video on sunday ideally there's going to be a demo video but maybe it will be late and on sunday it is a secret day when i am playing the best game of them all it's not league by the way it's this one you're alive they live could just be good luck <laughs> this is going to be a fun journey It wasn't a good experience. Oh, oh, oh. What in the hell is that thing? I don't know what this thing is. So I suggest we leave it well alone. What? Now. Hold on! What's this? Something's wrong. Try again. Ah! Oh no. Not again. I told you to stay away. Are you ready? I'll see you soon. Stop! You should leave now. Bye bye, princess. I should have left when I still could. And don't forget, you asked for this. You were on the right path. Pretty much trust her with my life. Very well. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Together, we might survive. I mean, in my lifetime, I've played quite a couple of games, quite a few of the games, and this straight up easily goes to number one, even beats The Witcher. And The Witcher, we all know, was literally the best game. This is something slightly better, not gonna lie. This is something slightly better. And mostly, I played this game for the plot. The plot we have in here is a stadion. Hear me out. I'm not gay, but... Stadion. No one ever looked out for me. Ah. No one ever said a kind thing to me. I wake up to the sounds of the silence that I've been on the mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. Interesting to see you strutting about in the stories that I told when my back is to the world that was smiling when I was. Just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. If you insist on loving and adoring me, I guess I'll just have to allow it. I'd be disappointed if you trusted me at all. Oh, the misery. I had no idea why I'm wasting my time with you. Spare the sympathy. Cute. Everybody wants to be my enemy. He'll hunt me to the ends of fame. <laughs> <laughs> I am not for me. Oh, Not again! You wakes up on the wall as you play in my small in the laughter in the hole in the lanes that I've never stuck in my mind when I'm waiting for the time. No healing sick for you. Wake up! I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. And what am I, though? What about the injustices I've suffered? A chair in the corner is my place. I stare, I shake, and I think about the power 
powers it play, the powers it play, and the kids in the dark are doing the shot, the child in the basement, the basement, the basement, the statement, love is embracement, love is a constant, love is a basis, he cannot be, she cannot be, they cannot be changed, but keep on let's get out I have a brand new world to explore. Oh, the misery, nobody wants to be my enemy. What did you think I was going to say? Oh, come here, I'll kiss you better. My enemy, oh, the misery. You take this, damn you! Perhaps you fear happiness. A smile is a stranger upon your lips. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I can't be what you want to see in me. I have no objection to being nice, of course, once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> in my name. And I mean, you might be saying, well, he's not my type, I don't like him. I'm not saying that's something wrong with you, but there is something wrong with you. Because you have to keep in mind that when they were creating Baldur's Gate, they actually paid their voice actors. And this is what happens when the voice actors actually get paid enough. Taking such a holy weapon would be diabolical indeed, but the consequences... Disastrous. Take the mace anyway, what's the worst that can happen, you know? I mean, this game is amazing because it's all random. You can just read up anything in the air. So you take the maze, you know what the water can happen. <laughs> Rest in peace, Astarian. And yes, Astarian is in your party, and as we saw, he just died. But good news, you can resurrect him. But he will not be happy. Then thou must return with the proper payment. Well counted. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Right. You just pay him to do his job so he can resurrect, and then you steal it from him back when he is resurrected. <laughs> Staren is back. What in the sweet hells were you thinking? Activating that lot, I was right there! Gods! Do you have any idea how much that hurt? Well... Apparently, there's a limit. Somewhere between a nice summer's day and the full concentrated power of the sun! This is how League of Legends players react when they are facing full AP Leona. There's a slight difference, you know? I brought you back, didn't I? Excuse me? That was the least you could do after dropping a building on me. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. Next time? No, no, no. If there is a next time, I'll be the one aiming the all-powerful weapon. Thank you. <sighs> Although, I do appreciate you trying to fix your mistake. Just don't do it again. Now, shall we go? Or do you have any other chaos you need to unleash here? Now you might be thinking, Shifu, what are you doing on Sunday instead of playing this game? It's like, is there anything better? I'm glad you asked, because apparently we have on the same subject of games coming to reality. We have Fallout series by Amazon. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. A veritable Camelot of the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a Vault-Tec vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you. 
to build a better day after. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. To come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. And uh, this is Ella Pornell, by the way. You might not know her, but her voice might sound familiar. She is the girl that made all of League of Legends and Arcane fans say, I can fix her, because that's Ella Pornell. Yep, that's Jinx. Half a dozen enforcers, dead! Enforcers, dead! Yeah. A building blown to pieces! Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you've done? Actually, I do. <laughs> Happy progress day! I can fix her. Chat, I can fix her. There we go. What you're doing is insane. I don't set the world. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. I just want to start. I've had a rough week. And practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. <laughs> I mean, I already love the show just from this trailer. You need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? People are going to come after you. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. That was straight up me after they released me from the hospital. Bro, I was so pumped of that stuff, nothing could affect me. I was immortal. <laughs> Look out at this wasteland. Looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. Save the world, they just, just they disagree on how. There you are. You I mean, she's becoming a jinx in here. Little killer. And today is April the 11th, so basically that's what we'll be doing over the weekend. Also, the thing is that for this TV show, and you know, for the Fallout, the person cooking the music, the soundtracks, was Ramin Javadi. You may be asking, okay, who the fuck is this guy? Nothing serious, except for the fact that when it comes down to music, my guy is second best in my book. Well, of course, first one is Hans Zimmer. 
this guy is second because he's responsible for, for such soundtracks such performances as this one those of you who watched westworld will know what i'm talking about That's the sheriff's horse, you son of a bitch. It's rifle too. And this is exactly what I mean when I see my Yasuo's badge history and I'm asking Alexa painted red. But in this scenario it's painted black. I feel like I lived under a rock my entire life, where was this when I needed it? Uh, Westworld, just one season. There are four seasons, just watch one. Same thing goes for Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has 8 seasons, the show ends at, at 5 seasons. You watch 5, that's it. Same thing for the worst world. 1 season, that's it. Don't ruin the experience. Why not? You're all here, indulging your particular vices. And so I've come to indulge mine. And it's Jover. Now you might be thinking, oh, Westworld is all about some sort of a Western. No, it's about the world with advanced artificial intelligence. Everything you see in here is next level of Ready Player One. I mean, at the very beginning, this is when they are creating the world. And you as a human being can go there and experience the adventures. Play the game of Witcher, if you may. That's, that's the area, that's the Game Master. Anyway. That's one of the soundtracks, by the way. He's also known for such pieces as The Light of the Seven. The Night King. Most importantly, and most notably, the one song that will strike fear into every single person, into every single living being during the wedding. If you know, you know. 
Brother, I heard this song during the wedding. I'm not even taking anything. I'm just straight up running away. No questions asked. No hesitation. Not trying to be a hero. Not saving anyone. I'm just casually running away. You know? If you value your life, you're doing exactly the same. And uh, you might be thinking, okay, but Fallout so far is so good. We have Jinx. We have the guy who cooked amazing music. But it's produced by Amazon. Amazon has such wonderful hits like Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. I'm not even going to show it, it was straight up horrible. Perhaps one of the worst writings I've ever seen in a fucking TV show. But at the same time, Amazon gave us this. Did you hear that? Hey, robot, what's the bad news? There are too many of them. Their technology has advanced too far, and they've rendered themselves immune to our time stream. We should consider the city lost. I will contact Cecil and suggest a nuclear response. What? No! No way! We're not nuking anyone, robot, and we're not giving up. What are we, fight force? I love you, man, but sometimes you've got a screw loose. <laughs> I don't use screws. My fastenings are all magnetic interlocks. I mean, what Amazon gave us is the perfect definition of he is him. Are you okay, Mark? For a guy called Invincible, he sure is catching lots of fans. <laughs> My turn. Dad saved us from the Flaxons, but he went into one of their portals. Oh, so he'll be late for dinner? <coughs> I was worried before because I've never seen your father so badly hurt. But taking on aliens in another dimension? That's just Tuesday. Dinner? You know, straight up casual Tuesday, brother. <laughs> and this is where he is him part comes in. I'm sure he's explaining nicely why they should leave us alone. Mm -hmm. You don't seem to understand. Earth isn't yours to conquer. Nicely. Fun 
fun fact in this flex and planet time is working slightly different in here so he was late for dinner on the casual tuesday but on their timeline he spent over 10 years that's why we see him with the beard right now Yep, he's late for dinner. Dad! Casual Tuesday, what can I say? Anyway, going back to Fallout, by the looks of it, they have Jinx, they have the guy responsible for Game of Thrones and Worst World soundtrack. Amazon has the deck stacked in its favor. So, I'll be spending the entire Sunday watching Fallout. That's the plan.